only took like a whole month and a half. Yo, this egg is hard as fuck. Okay, it cracked. Kyros them up. Just stay home and jerk off. Home. Oh. Right. Wow. Hi, welcome to another episode of the Night and Day Show. Of course, I am Day. I am Night. And you know the drill by now, okay? If you're new, welcome. Every week we have this little show that we have multiple topics. We have usually a food challenge, usually something a little bit spontaneous. We have a story that's read by Night, and then we just do what we gotta do and you get entertained in the process. So if you like that, don't forget to like, share, and definitely subscribe. And we wanna hear from you. So leave it in the comments, your thoughts on the episode. And now let's get started with the first topic, which I feel like it could not be anything else but this topic. Okay. Last time we did a little team building exercise, we kinda fucked up. You know, it started good, and then it just crumbled. Yeah. So I thought, you know what? Let's do another team building exercise. And this, this time, we're back with the scouts. Um, but this time I think it'll be a little bit simpler. You're aware of those type of river crossing games, like the most. Oh, like the one with the sheep and the lion and the. I don't know what he is. Yeah. Yeah. That's there. Okay. Yeah. 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 So it's the similar concept, but we got scouts. Okay. So let me show you what the deal is. So we have our scouts. These are the rules. The maximum of two beaver scouts or one explorer scout are allowed in the boat. The boat will not move with no person in it. And we need to make them cross on the other side. Two, two of the little kids can go. Mm -hmm. And only one of the big kids can go. At the same time. Okay. And the boat cannot move without people. Are there any facts about these people? About like, like for example, like can the kids be quote unquote left alone? Yes. There was okay. no, there is no such. I'm just gonna put a timer on. How much time? Give us 20. I'm giving us 15. 15 minutes. We can do this in 15. The older kids troublemaker, like. Can they not be left alone or something? I don't know. I gave you all the information that has been provided. Okay. okay. Maximum of two beaver scouts or one explorer scout on the boat. The boat can't move alone. And that is it. Okay. We're starting the timer. 15 minutes now. So the thing is, we can't our first boat trip and our last. So our last boat trip can be a big one. Do you agree? But the first boat trip can't be a big one. Why? Because they can only be themselves in the, in the boat. So we're bringing one of these on the other side so they can bring the boat back. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see, okay. So in my mind, these two, like two of these go on the How is our last one? Oh, how is our last one gonna be? How are we bringing the boat back for the last one to be one of the big kids? We don't need to bring it back since it's the last one. But the boat, how is, okay. Let's say we bring like the last two that we do is like, I don't know, like a little kid, okay? Like two of the little kids. They get off. How is the boat getting back to get That home? is the thing. That is the thing we have to figure out, motherfucker. But you just told me it's the last one. It's gonna move. Hey, hey. it specifically told us it won't move. Oh it my God, budge. let's figure this out. Put a kid in there. Oh my God. So one kid or a big one? One. Little. Two, right? Mm -hmm. So, then one's gotta go, but then one has to come back. Mm -hmm. All right, go back. Now, so then. One the, so, one of the big kids cannot be in the boat with a little kid. Exactly. Wait, try just. Okay. So then. Do we put, do we put him here? Bring, bring him, him there, take him out, bring, bring her back, back, put one of the big kids in there. Yeah. But then, then they can't go back. 
Put one of the big kids in here. But then when we're going back, we're gonna grab one of the kids. Bring them both back. Bring the big kid. Put the kid, the little kid back in. Oh no. So if we, mm. if we, if we bring uh -huh. this kid back and then we leave one here, one comes back. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So maybe put, put, put the little kid in. Okay. Boat, oh, sorry. Cross. And then. Leave one. Yeah. Then you come back. But then. Put, put the, the big kid on and take the little kid off. Take the little kid off. Yeah. Come back. And then when we're going to go there, we're going to take one of the little kids. We're going to take them, one of the little kids. Put him on the boat. Go. Grab the other kid. Grab the other kid. The and other then side. we get out of the other side. See? Claim Period. your trophy. Absolutely. Look at that. Thank you. Wow. Mm. And it didn't even take us 15 minutes. Wow! We're, we're just yeah. we were we are in sync. Yeah, we are in sync today. That's fantastic. So if anybody ever questions our hosting skills, we're up there. We're good. This Don't clip question us. Right. Wow. I'm so proud of us. Really? That was like I, I thought we were gonna struggle. I was having flashbacks. You were like, oh, 20 minutes, please. <laughs> you had no hope. It I took us less it. than five minutes to do it. Less than five minutes. Okay. Semi nice. I got like this. This gave me a boost energy. Okay, perfect. <laughs> perfect. Second number two. So, mm -hmm. we are gonna go down a list of five. Let's say preferred cat breeds because mm -hmm. we can't just say favorite because respectfully, any fila, you could be the muddiest of the muds and you're still cute to me and I'm gonna still cuddle you. But it's not the case for me. We're not gonna talk about that. It's not the case for me. We are not gonna talk about it. So, for the cats that were like specific on the breeds though, we're gonna go down, we're gonna go down that list. So I have five, she has five, and we're gonna just interchange with one another and see if there's any that we have in common, if there's any that we have in common with you guys, and if not, you might be learning about a new cat breed you didn't even know existed. And I mean, you're welcome because cats are cute. And if you guys would like to know our top five for dogs or any animal, let us know in the comments below. Yeah. Because so. I could definitely do a top five for dogs. Oh yeah, I can do a top five for dogs, snakes, lizards, birds, sea creatures, probably a top five in whales, sharks. Yeah, I can do a top five with a lot. Mm-hmm. I think about this all the time. Let's get into the cats. All right, and my top five is not in no particular order. I love you all the same if you're my top five. If you're not in my top five, I don't love you the same. You know, hold on, before we get into that, you know how offended I'm gonna be if not, if not one of them? Looks similar to my cat. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to feel. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be. If I, it's, it's, you it's, can't. It's you can't be. Around. You can't be upset with a list you haven't heard of yet. But what if? What if? What if? What if I have to? What if you need to wash him? Now, now I'm gonna be like, oh, but she's not gonna feed him the same. She's not gonna pet him the same. That's my him. nephew. Yeah, and you don't like I it. I accept my nephew you don't as he you is. Don't you don't like the genetics. beauty of my nephew is I didn't choose him, so I'm gonna love him. And then I'm gonna bring him back home. And that is it. The beauty of your nephew is you did not choose him. And that I get to bring him back home, so I will love him unconditionally. Anywho, let's get into our list. You start. All right, I, number five. Oh, you're starting five to one. Well, they there are no in particular orders. I can start off. Okay, because I was about to say mine are not in particular. Yeah, so the one breed I'm gonna name is the Siamese kitty. Oh my god, I wonder why. And Prada aside, okay. She's a different breed of Siamese. Pra Prada aside, like I'm not gonna be biased because oh she had one clearly shit. No, they were always in my top five. Like out of all like the basic cat breeds. A Siamese is my favorite because of the, I just love the unique pattern of a chocolate point Siamese to be more specific. 
A chocolate point Siamese is the one that Prada is. Like the light brown fur, but then the dark bits. I just love it. It looks so cute. And like the blue eyes. And like the look of the cat alone makes me, you know, my heart pizza pata. And as I have one now, I also like their attitude ish. Ish. This product got an ass, stick ass fucking attitude on her. But I do like a vocal kitty. We be having conversations all day. Um, I don't like a vocal kitty that doesn't that is not spayed because they get vocal in the middle of the night. I like that she likes to play fetch. She acts like a dog. She follows me everywhere. She plays, she'll literally bring me a toy so I can throw it so she can go get it and bring it back to me. A dog for the price of a cat and the cleanliness of a cat? Hands down. And I love how they just look pretty. Like you she she just naked. Naked and just doing her shit. But yeah, she just looks like she can walk a runway at any moment in time. Like, we're just living in Prada's world, to be honest. That's my first one. Anyways. Okay. My top one is a Bombay. Now I must disclose. Cairo's them up. I'm so sorry. I have to put that up here. He is not fully Bombay. Like you can tell from the way he looks, he doesn't look like them. Okay? Because Bombay. What you say about my cat? I said you don't even know if he part Bombay. Okay. No, you don't. You saw? Did you not see his mom? Oh my gosh! You don't even know the mom's part Bombay. She could literally. The mom is Bombay. Like okay, if you took like, the the picture, wherever she got Cairo did not tell her this. So I'm sorry. We don't even know if Cairo is Bombay, but it's all good because he's a black cat and he can pull it off. But he don't look it, he don't feel it. Feel it? What do you mean feel it? He's all fluffy. He's all like, like a pillow. Fluffy? He's like a pillow. He's like he comfortable. He has a sleek coat, like he's not like puffy. No, I mean like he's like a pillow. Like you touch him and he goes Brr. Like a Bombay just don't look like it'd be cute, to, like it'd be like something to cuddle. But he does. But it's okay. That's the muttness in him. The muttness, it made, it made his features gentle. He ain't no fucking Bombay, but it's okay. Because but we can I mean, think it. Mommy can a, stay okay, in wait, denial, hold on. and that's it. Hold on. Here's a picture of a Bombay. Here's a picture of Cairo. Leave it in the comments what you think he is. I know he's a mutt. I know he has like, you know, I know he's a mixed breed. Mm -hmm. The reason why they're in my top is because of the look. They look like mini Black Panthers, which is the point of them being the way they look, right? So I really like that. The I look you're giving me is almost like, bitch, what do you mean? I'm literally listening. Okay. So they look like mini Black Panthers, which I find really cool. And I like that they're playful and caring, and they're not mean with strangers. Like, if you come up, like, you come up to them, like, let's say, for example, somebody comes over. He is not going to yell at you and tell you to get out. He's almost going to be like, hey, what's up? Who are you? And then, like, sniff you. And then if he gives you the sniff of approval, he's like, I'm back. Let me play with your feet. I could have kidnapped him multiple times. She mentions that a lot, which makes me concerned for him, because it's like... She don't have to be, because he'd be the one, all right, take me. He, there's no concern for him. How many days was he with um, Papa Moon? And then all of a sudden, he was giving him belly? <laughs> you know but what I mean. Why would he discriminate? Why would Cairo discriminate? I just, it was a complete stranger. He had never met a smell he had never smelled before. Maybe it was nostalgic since of the crack home he came from, but like giving him belly and Prada has met Papa Moon multiple times and she has never let him pet her, which which is a problem. She is going through ter therapy. It's just that he's a little too trusting. They're both like opposites. Uh, the second one, oh, the second one for me is a Russian blue. Okay. I just love the color of gray they are, which is quite similar to this shirt. Mm -hmm. And then the like piercing eyes, like the contrast mm -hmm. and the richness of the eye color with the fur color. Like I want one so badly. They just, I love me a pretty cat. A cat that's serving cunts 24 mm seven -hmm. is a cat that belongs in my home because you tell me you got wrist and bitch face. I know what that's like. And you just look like you got eyeliner all like it's just so pretty mm -hmm. pretty cats i just if you pretty and you cat you got pretty privilege with me sweetheart you got pretty privilege with me to be honest i'm so sorry my second cat breed is a ragdoll 
Nothing. No, it has nothing to do with the breed. Well, it does have everything to do with the breed. I just hate long haired cats. Oh. That's how I was like, ooh. I look past it because they look so, they're so cute. Yeah, like, my they hate, are pretty cute. The main, I'm not gonna lie, the main reason why I like Ryan Dolls is because of Juni. If you don't know Juni, here's Juni. She made me realize how, like, how easy it is to have a Ryan Doll. Yes, you must brush them like almost every day. And, like, they can get dirty really easily. But then they're so playful. And then Juni's her own being. But that girl sleeps most of the damn day. No, right It's so cute because it's like, you, like, they look so like, they're like the cat that you would see like in like TV a bit. Because they have like that pretty face. Like, they have that pretty privilege, in my opinion. They have that pretty, pretty privilege. It's just like, pretty privilege with an added, you know, I shed a whole lot. And you must question. Yeah. yeah. Like, Ride dolls, I've seen that they are one of the most lazier cats, which is like, same. I love that. Yeah, that's it's just the hair for me, but other than that, they're, they are very pretty cats. Oh yeah. And like, they, they're so loving, so cute. Mm -hmm. Like, I've never seen a rat doll that was like, spicy, you know? I've never seen one either, yeah. to be honest. So yeah, that's why they're my top two. The next one I have is an Abyssinian cat, because that cat, it's basically a warm toned version of a Siamese cat. They have the same characteristics. The only difference is instead of it being cool toned brown and black, it's warm toned brown with like variations of it. And instead of blue eyes, it's green eyes. I just love it. If I were to get a second cat, I would get an Abyssinian just because of the contrast. Mm -hmm. They're gorgeous. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. The third cat on my list is the Chartreuse. Chartreuse. I think he's in English. I don't know how to say it. Here's an English. Thank you. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. So, oh. It looks like it looks like a Russian's blue evil cousin. Okay. They don't all look like that. That's just one image. Oh. Some of them, some of them don't look like. They are all that color. They are all that they color. They are all that color. They all have those eyes. They just don't all look grumpy. Oh, she's a, she's a chunky cat, respectfully. And so that's probably why. Can I see again? And her eyes kind of match Cairo's. That's cool. So I like these cats because every time I've ever seen a cat like that, like I've never seen it in person, which makes me want to see it that badly. Because mm. it is rare to find one of those cats. I'm not saying like super, super rare. It's just, you don't find that on Kijiji. You don't find that on Facebook Marketplace. Like you have to, like you have to almost run into it by accident. And like, there's a lot of videos that I've been seeing of like people are like, let's say they're outside and they're not feeling the greatest or whatever. And then a cat approaches them, maybe, 60 of the time, it's a chartreuse. And they've been known to have like good luck on them. It's almost like, oh, so weird. I don't necessarily believe it, but it's like a whole thing of like, they're connected almost with like emotions and stuff. So like they can sense when people don't, like I'm not saying they can't sense when people don't feel good, but it's like, let's say you and your, like a, a family member that passed with like this, right? And they're watching over you and they can sense that you don't feel so good, they're gonna send that cat towards you. So that like they can like almost it's almost like a sign like a sign like don't give up. Somebody's here rooting for you. Mm. So about that. Don't quote me on none of this. I don't really understand it. Okay. My uh fourth is the Savannah cat. I can't get this damn beast out of my mind. It's just basically a ginormous bangle. Mm. And they scare me. I see them like online and they literally like hiss all the time. Mm -hmm. But like a hiss from a from from a regular schmegular kitten versus a hiss from a savannah cat ain't don't hit the same. Mm -hmm. Because they teeth are the size of my fingers. Can't do it. And also they eat raw meat. Bro. Like I love a good savannah cat. It's just How big saw, is the litter? When I saw that they eat raw meat, I was like what if I miss you off one day and I'm <laughs> raw meat? You know what I mean? Yeah. Because like, I love you from a distance. Like, if I were to have one, because they do like F1, F2, whatever, it's basically yeah. how like close they are to the half wildness. Like original, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I would want an F1, but I'm too scared of that shit. So I hope you know if you get an F1 with Prada, and then like that's you know. Um, Prada gonna be Moon, a snack due to that Moon fucking has sassiness. To watch, if Moon has to watch the Savannah Cat, Prada and Cairo, respectfully, Cairo will not come back. Because <laughs> Cairo, like the dummy he is, will probably go towards the Savannah Cat's food, and the Savannah Cat's like, bet, you're the food now. And then Cairo is done. Yeah, I see that happening. I just 
see Prada dying too because of the simple fact. That's what I said. Shut up. Because the Savannah cat be like, don't go there. She'll be like, who are you? And the, the Savannah cat will get up and she'll be like, think I give a fuck about how big you are? Mm. And then she dies. Okay. Now the fourth cat on my list is the Maine Coon. Mm. Now the reason why I like the Maine Coon, I just love a big cat. I like a long cat. You know, like I like it to be longer than a Subway sub. You know? Like I just like the long, the longness of that cat, and also how like furry and fluffy it is. Cause like, you tell me I can just get a body pillow, but it's a cat. I can just you know sleep on the cat. I, mean, I wouldn't sleep on the cat, but I just like they're fluffy, they're they're long, they're tall. Like well, yeah, technically because they're long. They're they tall. look like Hulk Hogan. Who's that? Oh, is it Hulk Hogan? I, I might not be him that I'm 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 referring to. Well, kind of still. Like, they kind of look like Hulk Hogan, but that's not the guy I meant to put. What movie is he in? Every time I see a main quote, I'm like, why do you look like that actor? And because of that, I can't unsee it. The old guy in Avatar? No, but okay. I can understand how you can say it's that type of breed, though. But, like, it's like that breed of man, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ron Perlman. Mm, I can kind of see it. <laughs> and, like, the more, like... I guess purebred the the main coon is the more they look like him. And by the way, this is him in kind of like a cat's thing. Weirdly enough, that makes him not look like a main coon. Yeah, I know, but like, no. Every time I see a main coon, <gasps> Hellboy. That's how how I know him. He, Ron Perlman. You look like a main coon. My number five. Before I perish off of this earth, I will have this cat. Oh my gosh. Let's say it together. The we, Sphinx! Oh my God, I was gonna take the one, Sphinx! Like, the Sphinx! She has been wanting a Sphinx since like the day she came out the womb. Yes. They are so cute. They're so nice. They're so fucking cute. The only reason why I don't have one is they're kind of expensive. And also, they like secrete a lot of sebum because they don't have fur. They're oily. So because of that, I'm not mentally prepared to have oil patches on my furniture yet. Everywhere. So once I am of a certain class of, you know, financial stability, I can afford getting them professionally cleaned once in a while. And I will be making them clothes. And they can wear clothes and stuff and they like it because they're so cold and like- They like to cuddle a lot. I think she would, I think you would appreciate the fact that you can also they have pimples, so you can pop their pimples. Well, it's actually different. Not really, no. But you can pop them the same way, though. Yeah. So. I will enjoy doing that. Exactly. I have. I am. Like, and you can like, and you can like. There's always stuff stuck in them. Pause, and you can. Anyways. That's the blackheads too. Is it the blackheads too? The blackheads is like, it's like all the oil and stuff that is trapped, but it's oxidized. Oh. So like they have a bunch of blackheads because yeah, their pores are open and like there's like a lot of oil and stuff and then it's oxidized all the time. So. And have you guys heard when they fight amongst each other how it's Oh my god, like I think leather. <laughs> it's just so funny. And my last breed is the Russian blue. I just like the color, I like the eyes, I'm not gonna lie, that one is just pretty privileged. But I also heard that they're very, like, like they're very, like, they have a lot of energy and they're, like, playful and stuff. So Are they? Show. I know The weekend has one. Really? Yeah. And Khloe Kardashian. Today, we have a doozy! <laughs> Do what we try. Y'all see what we try. We are trying preserved duck eggs. And I'm not gonna lie to you, we've been ha we've had this for months, but um, we kept pushing it back. Yeah, because we thought this was the embryo one, and we're not there yet. But if you guys want us to have it, leave it in the comments below. Please. So basically, what I we understand the reason why these eggs get this color is that um, it gets preserved with clay. So yeah, and I'm super excited, and we're gonna try it on camera. Like, we're opening packages and everything. There's no other stuff to tell you. Do not consume if eggshell is cracked, okay? Good to know. Well, it makes sense, right? If it's in clay and the cracks and, yeah. Next thing you know, they all cracked. I've never had duck. It just smells like the store we bought it at. 
confused. Not necessarily, but that's why I asked. So this is how she comes. clay that does this but it feels like very matte so we're gonna crack her and then we're gonna eat her Ooh, is it gonna be liquid it doesn't look like it from the picture yo this egg is hard as fuck okay it cracked do we know if she was boiled and then preserved no i don't think she was boiled. do you guys see the the color yes. i've never touched or seen dinosaur egg but if I had to make one from scratch this is not too far off from what make I would make it look. Make one from scratch. You know a little lab experiment you know what I mean? But then the size of an ostrich egg? Yeah. This is how oh, she oh looks. This is the yolk by the way. It's like what I'm seeing in yours. This one is like jellified or jello. And then this is the yolk. This is it open. It just smells like the store. I Maybe we should. I should have just given you a half. I mean, I don't know because I already started cracking it. Is it gonna make it go bad? I just feel like it smells like the store. Like I smell a bit of egg, but also like a whole lot of something else. Mm-hmm. It should be, you know, the clay. Smell like. <sighs> All right, guys. Cheers. <sighs> this is not bad. It's not bad. I know my 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 reaction probably makes it look like it's bad. It's not bad. It's just. I didn't think the middle was gonna be as mushy as it was. Like, oh, but it does look mushy though. It does look mushy, but I thought it was gonna be the consistency of like a boiled egg. So when mm. it wasn't, it threw me off. Mm. I might need a little break for boiled eggs now. This is like, it, it tastes oily. Yeah. Like, I don't think this is bad at all. And I can tell like, this could be really good in like ramen and stuff. Like, what? Trying ramen? Yeah. Like, I think this would be really good. I was just not expecting this taste. I don't know. It kind of almost tastes salty to me a little bit. Yes. Okay. Yes. It does. I don't know what a duck egg usually tastes like. I'm assuming it ain't far off from the chicken. But now this is getting you really excited to try, is it called balu? The egg embryo? I'm not sure what's Well, if it is, then it's balu. But now I'm excited to try because this was actually not that bad. Understandable how this is like an everyday food for someone. Mm. Like this is good. I don't know if I would replace it with boiled egg, but that's just because I would just have to get used to the taste and that's all. So I wanna try just the... Just the yolk? Yeah, well, Let me try it with you. Looks like, right so like it's like, um, you know those uh, Coca-Cola candies? Mm hmm Like the eggier taste comes from the from the white. It's salty. I don't know. It could I don't know why it tastes that salty to me. No no. It's salty. But really guys, this is you guys should try it. It's not bad. I can only I can already see like where this could like an egg salad of this. Not an egg salad, but you know like those egg sandwiches? of this but you wouldn't add salt right but you would add like the onion the bowl like this is not bad like it could be like a, like whatever you can use boiled eggs for you can probably use this eggs are a lot smaller so in a small saucepan we're going to heat up 115 grams of water once it comes to a boil take it off the heat and add one gram of puar tea 
and allow that to steep for 20 minutes. Transfer this to a ceramic jar to add 16 grams of kosher salt, 14 grams of sodium hydroxide. A big note here, sodium hydroxide or lye is very caustic and you should wear gloves and have some kind of eye protection. This is the same ingredient that's found in drain cleaner and it's also used to saponify or to make soap, which I am super excited to try. And 0.7 grams of food grade zinc. Gently stir this and then add the rest of the water and cover it and let it rest overnight. So I transferred the solution into a jar and then added my eggs to ensure that the eggs would be completely covered with the solution. Now you're gonna cover the jar and let the eggs soak in the brine for 12 days. 12 days, wearing gloves, you're going to remove the eggs from the brine and rinse them briefly with water and then allow them to air dry for one hour. Crazy process all this, isn't it? It's so fascinating, I love it. So take the dried eggs and place them in a Ziploc bag, seal the bag, and then place them in a light proof box. I just used two black to-go containers and taped up the seams, and then store the box in a cool, dry place for at least four weeks. So now it has been five weeks since I placed my eggs into a box. Dun, 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 dun. Here we have my box. There are the eggs. So the water's coming up to a boil, and now I'm going to place some eggs in there. And they said specifically not to place too many because you want to keep this at a boil. So I'm just going to put in five. And set my timer for one minute. Now we're going to transfer them into some ice water and cool them off. Look at these quail eggs, aren't they adorable? So I've already prepared a pot of joke. If you wanna learn how to make it, I'll put a link down below to a very old video on how to make it. It's quite simple. I'm gonna heat this up because that's how we're going to eat our eggs, but I'm really, really hoping that those eggs work. All right. All right, my lovelies, the moment of truth. Here we go. Ooh, it's feeling very, very promising. It's like bouncy. <laughs> It totally worked. Oh my goodness, it totally worked. Yes, yes. Well, shout out to Emmy Maid. Damn. It only took like a whole month and a half. Well, like, these did not look like a 20 minute process either, but yeah, damn. Now you know. In the next segment, we're going to be doing an Am I the Asshole? As per usual. Now, the title for this one is. Am I the asshole for telling my friend my brother isn't serious about her? I'm the youngest of three siblings and my eldest brother is already married. He married an Indian girl that my parents arranged for. My other brother is, all, is going to also have an arranged marriage and he says he is okay with that. But in the meantime, he is still dating other girls and making it seem like he's serious about them but then he will discard them later. In my culture, losing your virginity before marriage is still taboo for girls. Guys can apparently do whatever they want. My friend likes my brother, and he knows that, and is now dating her. I know he will probably try to have her give up her virginity for him, and I think it will break her heart to do that, and then have him dump her. My friend is half Indian, and from her mom's side, she's from another social class, and my parents would never consider her. My parents are already in talks with a family, and my brother has been chatting with that girl online. He will probably go back home to meet her this fall. My brother has my friend convinced he will marry her once they are done university. I have been friends with her for nearly a decade. Maybe I shouldn't have said, it, said anything, but I did and told my parents and my brother planned to have an arranged marriage. She was crying because she had already given originating to my brother. A week later, my brother comes to me mad because my friend broke up with him and in their argument made it clear she knew he was going to go through with marrying another girl and it is just stringing her along. He's extremely angry with me because no one else could have told her. I admitted it was me and he yelled at me that it is not any of my business. That is, that is Whoa! You are not the asshole. You are, I wish you would have did it sooner because you could have been a savior. But like, what an asshole of a brother. And I've heard this happen to many girls because it's not just Indian culture that does the arranged marriages. And like, that hurts because like, you do fall for them. And of course, like, 
the sister, the friend is half Indian, so she is aware of the culture. Yeah, because the minute you said she was half Indian, I'm like, oh, so you couldn't marry her. And then you, go, you mentioned class, and I'm like, uh. Like, if you know yeah. you're going to have an arranged marriage, why are you doing Because he was meeting with the girl, the yeah. other girl. He like, was that's meeting, the like, he met her in person, and then he was talking to her online. Respectfully, what is the point of dating anybody in the meantime? Mm -hmm. and that's just like, oh, and then also he took her virginity. That was planned and calculated. That's evil. That is very evil. And that's your friend's, that's your sister's best friend for over a decade. You couldn't pick anybody else. That, no, nah, like that's, that's not. Something. That's fucking evil, bro. Like how is she supposed to stay friends with, with the sister? It's so disgusting. You are not the asshole, sweetie. I just yeah. wish you would have told her sooner. But of course, you're not knowing what your friend is doing behind the scenes, right? Not true. But like, also, if, she, if she's your best friend, I don't know. I don't know if best friend for you is the same thing as best friend for me. But best friend for me is like, I'm telling you all my business and my family's business. So like, if my brother was meeting families, I would have told you. Oh, like, my parents are already in the process of like, arranging for him. They already picked the family. Wouldn't they, wouldn't you have? Especially when you can tell like, your friend kind of has a crush on the brother. My thing is, is like, we're Actually, don't be the stereotypical like, oh, maybe I find that that's really, like, yes, be part of the family, but it's also like, you know how many, like, if, okay, if, sorry, if you've been friends with me for 10 years, that means that you've been part of my life for like, the main parts, so you've heard the bush that he's done. But that's what I'm asking, main that's what I'm saying, like, you that's what I'm saying, like, yeah. didn't the sister tell the friend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless I don't know, she is did. she the best friend or just a friend? Let me go back. She just has my friend. But still, even if it's just a friend and not your best friend, you need to tell me you're like let there's there's gotta be at least four times that your brother pissed you off mm. and you went to rent to your friends. Mm. And then your friend heard all of this, she's like, that's my man. But then also it's like your your other brother got married through an arranged marriage. How does she not like See that. What's good for one is good for the other. Right. And also you're half Indian, so you but also because you're half Indian, then you know that you can break generational curses or you're not necessarily like gonna do the arranged marriage thing. Mm. But like if the arranged marriage thing is prevalent in your friend's family, then you should have connected dots. Like I feel like there's your friend was being purposely ignorant and your brother took advantage of that. And then in the, we're in the middle the of the first. ceasefire. You're in the middle of crossfire right now. Like, if you don't want, if you're, the worst part is the brother seems okay with the arranged marriage, but like, if you don't want the arranged marriage right now, then don't, don't go wasting women's time. Honestly. I feel Ooh. like a lot of guys do that. Like, up, oh, like I'm talking specifically. A lot of guys waste people's time, right? But then it's like, you know you're going to be arranged to marry. You have no, nothing against it. And you still decide in between that time though, in the meantime, I'm gonna date these girls. And tell them time. that you are the one I want. You are the one that I desire. You are the one I'm going to marry. Cause like, this is the thing. You can you can be on your fuck boy thing. Mm -hmm. But why does fuck boys never find fuck girls? Honestly, like, why? why? Just, like, it's me? because they can't match the energy and they can't receive what they give. Because you you could have found someone of your desire that is on the same wavelengths as you, but you could not handle it because for some reason, oh, well, girls are ran through. Oh, I can't date a thought. I can't blah, blah, blah. But y'all are thoughts. It's like they're purposely looking for the ones that haven't. Like, why are you taking away someone's innocence? Why are you traumatizing someone that you were never planning on doing anything serious with? Instead, go find a girl that's going to play your game. But it's because because she's going to play his game, he's going to probably fall for her, and then he's going to be the one traumatized. Do you see what kind of stupid cycle this is? Just stay home and jerk off. Wasting this home took this girl's virginity, bro. You could have just did it in a sock. I'm upset, and I would have fucking beat the shit out of that brother. Sometimes a brother just needs a punch in the fucking face. And you should be the one to do it as a sister. Honestly, it's your job actually. It's your birthright to just fuck it up. Bow your brothers, 100%. Because if you don't, who will? Alrighty guys, so here are a few notes to take home with you guys from today's uh, little episode. Um, number one, team building, 
forever. Number two, cats, we love. Number three, duck, pr uh, preserved, preserved duck eggs, are not that bad. We love, we love, mm -hmm. enjoy. Mm -hmm. And um, um, by the way, in the comments, if you guys are you like eat these all the time, can you guys let us know recipes? How do you guys like to eat your preserved duck eggs? So that maybe we can try it because we still have like five other ones of oh, four. We have four other duck eggs that we need to use before I think September was the expiration date. Yes, we need to use it before September. So please let us know. Alrighty guys, well, that concludes today's episode. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next week. Yeah, but if you aim correctly, just aim at an arm. You're still throwing boiling hot water. Yeah, but it doesn't matter if you're boiling at just one bo body part. You're just aiming one body part. Foot. There you go. No, fuck this man, bro. Or like, while he's sleeping, put his pinky in the fucking boiling hot water. <laughs> <laughs>